In this video, I'm gonna be showing you two very, very interesting Reddit posts that are from r slash singularity. Now, I've been keeping up with some very interesting developments in AI recently, and I thought these two Reddit posts specifically really showed the tra trajectory that we're on right now where free open source models that are taken and can be kind of trained in a very specific way can compete with things like O1. But not only that, but benchmarks are almost becoming irrelevant these days just because of how quickly the benchmarks are basically fixed or solved. Let's get into it. So the first one here is first AI benchmark solved before release, the zero barrier has been crossed. So there's this thing here called hmatched.vercel.app. And what this basically means is it's tracking the benchmarks and how quickly they were solved by AI. And you can see the very, very top here, image net challenge, right? This was one of the first uh, benchmarks. I'm not exactly sure what the benchmark is, uh, but it was created in 2009 and it was solved in 2016 at a human level, right? So you can see here, seven years, eight years, two years, five years, nine months, seven months, three years, four years, one year, four years, five years. And then you can see that it's getting slower, it's getting quicker and quicker, right? Until we get to nine months, nine months, three months, and then here, minus 22 days, right? So before the benchmark was even released, apparently, it was already solved by AI. What this kind of shows is how quickly AI is, pro is progressing, right? It's getting to the point now where every single day, it seems we have a new way to train AI models, a new open source model that beats or can compete with uh, the closed source models, or just a completely new way of doing things, right? which is what we're going to be talking about um, after this when we talk about um, the, the other Reddit post. So, I mean, it seems very, very strange that something can be sold before it's released. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm not really sure how that even works, but it looks like um, that that is the case now. And the O1 preview already does better than humans before it's even been released to the public, I guess, is, is the point of that. So you can see here just how quickly things are starting to progress. Now, another thing that I personally have been noticing is small models being able to compete with um, larger models just because of the way that they're trained or the way that you know it thinks or reasons. So we can see this with, um, it's called R star, I think. So R star math, which is a new model from Microsoft, which is basically from Quen uh, 7 bill, but that can compete, if you look here, with GPT-40, DeepSeq V3, OpenAI Open AI 01, right? Preview and Mini, not, not 01, the, the current uh, best in slot or SOTA model. But you can see that R star math, which is based on Quen 7 bill or R star math Quen 1.5 bill, right? which is a reasoning model with 1.5 billion um, training tokens. It's absolutely insane that it can compete with something like O1 Mini or thir you know, a 32 billion um, parameter model. This basically means the small models that have been built for something specific seem to be the future, right? Because what, what OpenAI and Claude and DeepSeek and everyone, what they're trying to do is they're trying to build a model that can do everything. But what this shows is the smaller models can compete with larger models in a specific test, right? So R star math, the specific the maths, can do as well or better than O1 Preview, 4O, DeepSeek, pretty much all of these models, specifically on maths, right? Which is very, very interesting to me. And yeah, basically what people are saying here, we're going to have AGI by the end of this year. It's an open source 8 bill model performing in line with O1. It's not even that, it's 3.8 bill, right? And this guy very rightly says, this shit will work on your phone now. It's such a small model, this, you know, you could run something like this on your phone 
And what you can now do is, right, if you think about it, I don't know how much this costs Microsoft, okay? So I could be talking, talking out my ass here. But I don't think that training one of these models uh, for 3.8 bill would cost that much. Like, you're probably talking one to 5,000. Maybe it's a bit more than that, I'm not sure. But you can make something specific to your use case. You can fine tune it, train the model specifically for what you want it to do. It can be a very small model that could work on your phone and you could do whatever you want with it, basically. So this is absolutely insane. Um, it's been so chatty, like this commentator says here, just think about GPT-4, released less than two years ago, closed, proprietary, 1.7 trillion parameters, which in my head maths is either 50, 500, or 5,000 times less, uh, sorry, bigger than this model that we're talking about now. And it's actually being outperformed in a specific uh, set of benchmarks by something that you could literally run on your phone. Completely crazy, right? So hopefully, I mean, this is, in my opinion, one of the futures of AI is that people are going to be making their own model for their own specific use cases that can run on your phone or run on a very bad laptop or whatever it might be. I think we'll leave the video there, guys. These are two very, very interesting developments in AI that I have noticed. We'll be doing more videos like this, I think, uh, because I really, really want to talk about these things and give my opinions and where AI is going. And honestly, it looks like AGI is going to be sooner than we thought. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of this video, you're an absolute legend. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out. Watch this video if you want to have a look at a free alternative to lovable.dev or bolt.new.